I hope the sparkle is showing up so that you can see it and also hear the water running into the eaves because it's melting off the metal roof of the barn. I wonder if you'd like to join with me in a short walk for the next week or so towards a milestone for me. Would you like to walk with me towards 60? Come on, let's do this together. My extended barn family waiting for me to get down for chores. I'm a little late this morning because it's really icy out. My day starts with care in the house and usually a load of dishes and then I make my way here to the barn. Usually when my husband falls back off to sleep. Let's go downstairs. The chickens are first because they're at the bottom of the steps. And they're here waiting for me. There's no water in there, silly girls. Let's go around and get you some fresh. I only have two hens, and they're just starting to lay, just starting to get eggs from them. And chores are a little bit different today because we brought the horses in the barn last night. We were getting freezing rain, and kind of miserable for them and miserable for me to try to do the chores in. So I've got horses inside today. Now you can see the sunshine pouring in, so they'll go outside here shortly. That's my daughter's irritating mare pounding on the door. So I better go get them fed and turned out. See that waggling tail over there? That's the other fin sheep. That's Sushi, you guys know from the videos. And she's acting like she's coming in heat. That's the ram Petoskey standing there with her. We'll see. Such pretty sunshine out there today, but it's cold. I'm going to move this camera angle a little away. You won't see me. You'll be able to hear me, I think. But you can see the sheep outside eating what we call the cigar, the center of the round bale. When it gets down to being almost done and it's almost too tightly wrapped to get out with a fork, I either put it in one of the big feeders or out on the frozen ground or snow if we have it. Of course, we don't put it outside if there's mud. And then the sheep can finish that up. You see the beautiful blue sky, and I'm not sure if you can see in this, but we still have some ice. Just a glaze of it, but enough to make everything treacherous. But thanks for visiting with me for a few minutes this morning. Chores are done now. It was pretty quick and easy because the horses are inside and because I didn't have to deal with the water hydrant. And so now I can go back up to the house and do what comes next. Hoping for a quiet day without company or without a lot of company. Get some small jobs done that I didn't get done yesterday. So thank you for coming along on this morning walk with me. Some of this stuff you already know or you've seen, but I wanted to give you as a way of introduction. And I'm calling this walking towards 60 because I'm not running as I did in my youth. I'm not going backwards, I hope. I just want to walk steadily and confidently and slowly enjoying every step of the way. So I hope you'll come along with me on these daily vlogs leading up to my 60th birthday. And I hope if you're younger than 60 or older than 60 that it doesn't stop you from watching what's going to be happening. Take care and I'll talk to you real soon. 
And I wonder if you can hear Hannah crunching at the feeder here with me. Some podcasters sip coffee and tea on their podcasts. On my podcast, you listen to the sheep crunch their food.